For those of you who missed this week's episode of the Shaftspar Chronicles, here's what happened. On the way back to Candor's Keep, the party discusses where Ogma's throne might be thanks to some new information from Crow and the people in Old Smyrna knew him. Gwenta, not wanting an innocent soul on board dead, decides to plead his to, to his god Trusover to revive the fallen crewmate one more time. Through an exhaustive effort of prayer with Justinian's assistance, the crew member is revived. However, not, all is not roses and rainbows, as the light unsparkers, name pending, try to figure out how to ensure justice for the murder that is happened. Many questions arise, such as, who is at fault? Who should abdicate the crime? Who? Why is Crow topside? Why is Crow with the unsparkers? Should Crow go back to Old Smyrna? The party have a heated discussion, and Justinian declares that he should share the same judgment as Crow. The party decides to take Crow back to Old Smyrna, as well as look for the seat of power for Ogma's avatar. When they get to Smyrna, they make their way down to Old Smyrna. However, Justin wishes to visit Justinian, wishes to visit his parents with Crow. The party emphasizes the priority to returning Crow and finding the seat of power. They work their way down to Old Smyrna, and during sad goodbyes to the crow, she leaves a portion of her cloak with Marslin, and Justinian leaves her his pocket knife. They journey onto the library, and then Quaylin recognizes the building. He reproves the librarians, and then makes his way to a throne of books. Once he sits on the throne, something unexpected happens. The library rises, library rises from underneath the ground and resurfaces, disrupting the earth and severely damaging part of the city. Justinian is in a panic as he realizes his parents' house is in the area of effect of the destruction. Will Justinian ever see his parents again? Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue with the ongoing adventures of the Shadow, Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon.